What's going on boys and girls? Welcome back to another One Punch Man World video. Alright guys, if you're watching this, I'm probably in Mexico right now. So I'm going to be in Mexico for the next 7 days. Uh, so these are going to be all pre-recorded for you and they're going to be character showcases. So I'm going to show you guys how to build certain characters the way you need to build them. Now these characters are characters I probably already have, but I'm going to go over a few things. I may not have the memories and wills, but I'm going to tell you what the best memory wills are for these certain characters. We're going to go through the impressions, their dupes, etc. Right? So let's start off with the free SSR that everybody gets. Let's talk about SSR, Genos, uh, the Cyborg of Justice. Just to not be mistaken by this version and this version, the SR version is a complete different version altogether. Okay? And this is going to matter when you do the wills and the memory. So let's talk about this. So first off, overpower unit. If you look at his stats, he's going to be built with attack, crit, and crit damage. He's got a, li he's got a little bit of higher crit damage than most others. Uh, he's got HP, composure, defense, interrupt abilities, etc. Now, this basic stats, if you look at the bonuses, you can see I've got a couple bonus extra here. He starts at 115 normally, 5%, etc. So this unit specifically is actually built really well for composure damage, which means you can interrupt your opponents, that little yellow bar, the, the stagger. He's built to do good crit, and he's built with really high attack power now the beauty of this character of course is the fact that he's he's considered what i call a hybrid character hybrid characters are melee slash range characters such as zombie man genos etc right there is also pure range characters and then there's also pure melee characters genos sits as a hybrid character now let's talk about his potential do you need dupes to make him worthwhile the answer is strictly no Every unit in this game can function perfectly fine without dupes, but how good are his dupes? So first off, his first dupe, Burst Impact, is available at the start of the battle, which means you can do the instant attack right away with that. Uh, raid uh, Break, limit, uh, level limit plus three. So Affix, Raid Break, this is the actual um, trait that you get from your... Um, from your memories so raid break is a really powerful one we can go over that as well too every time you use a skill our burst uh burst impact dash uh punch damage increased by 20 percent this effect can be stacked up to four times and resets after you switch form so that's the uh burst impact which is the one he it goes behind the opponent and hits them or the the crazy punches that he does right uh so this is now increased by 20 percent and this can be stacked up to four times which is incredible uh, and then this here a tr uh, crit triggered by an attack generates a 40 percent composure damage bonus which is huge composure damage of course is that uh yellow bar that i talked about where you can stagger your opponents every time a monster enters break state you gain 10 percent more damage this can be stacked three times so you can go up to a total of 30 percent more damage by having this and you this is why you want to build them as a crit unit in the first place uh, extend the duration of amplification by 10 percent that's the actual um bars that you get when you amplify your powers and then when amplifi uh, amplification is in effect the damage of skills belonging to the corresponding form increased by 20 percent so if you're in melee form 20 percent more damage if you're in range form 20 percent more damage so you can see here the boosts do give him a quite a bit of utility and power but again not a necessity but incredible unit altogether especially considering he's free and he's one that you definitely want to use in your team very early on all the way up to end game as a matter of fact until you find a suitable replacement all right so gameplay i highly recommend you guys try the gameplay out with him and you guys can see how what he's all about and how he functions uh outside of that though we're going to go to his impressions next and then we're going to talk about his actual build and how you want to build him so if you're an SSR unit, you have the following impressions. You have an R impression, an SR impression, and an SSR impression, okay? So his SSR impression is easily his best one. So number one, he has basic composure reduction with that. So that's going to increase the uh, reduction damage that he does. When amplification is in effect, all skills gain a 6% crit boost. When amplification is in effect, all gain 12%, etc., etc. et cetera. So as you boost your amplification, which again is that bar, right? You can go total of 24% crit damage boost on this character, which is pretty damn insane guys so this is why again you want to build him as a crit unit because he's meant to do massive amounts of burst damage at a very quick quick rate whether it's range or melee dps okay well again we're going to talk more about that very shortly now his actual arm skill which is different than the actual effect uh his arm skill will is exact same as um zombie mans which is incredible all allies gain might until the end of the battle and 40 percent of genos's cyborg of justice composure stats re uh, reduction stats this effect increases by 100 percent for overpower units so if you have like him and metal knight for example who are both overpower he gets the bonus as well at 100 percent when used actively the skill deals composure damage to the target that is equal to 2000 percent of his composure reduction if the target is weak to overpower the damage increases five fold so that's ten thousand percent guys on anyone's composure bar if they have 
a weakness to overpower. Now, the way this works is you simply go into battle, you activate this when you see the bar, the bar will drastically drop to a certain amount. If it's a higher end boss, it drops by like 20, 30%, maybe sometimes less. If it's a low end boss, you'll see almost an instant reduction to their composure bar. Very, very powerful. And this is why you want to do a good mixed bag of composure damage stats for him, as well as having traits for crit and crit damage, okay? So this is pretty much Genos' best setup here. Now, his SR is, is good for healing. It does increase his crit, uh, crit rate increase by 8% within 10 seconds every time you switch between melee and remote form. So again, you can get yourself some crit and you give him a little bit of survivability. This is good for battles where uh, there is a uh, gimmick. So for example, you're poisoned at the beginning or there's lightning or there's paralysis, right? If you need a little bit of healing, this is not a bad one to go with. Applies healing to two allies for eight seconds. We're still 3% of max HP per second. Overpower guys will get even a little bit more. So again, you can use him as an off healer if you really need to. I highly recommend instead though going for the R version which actually increases his base attack, which is what you'll need, easier to level up. And also it grants encouragement to himself, which increases his attack by 35% for 80 seconds, which is pretty nuts, guys. So this is the one I would actually go with. If you have the SSR, of course, go with that. But if between the SR and the R, unless you really plan to use them as an off healer, you're better off using the R version of the impression. So this is the way to go for sure, okay? Now, let's go into his actual memory and will. Now, memory and will is going to be interesting for him, okay? There's a couple things you definitely want to build him with. So first off, respect for the master, you want to max this out, okay? Now, this is his actual Cyborg of Justice combat. Now, these are found in the uh, pr um, performance section of the stats, okay? So if we go with stats here, for example, right? You can see right here in traits. Respect for the Master enhances Geno's Cyborg of Combat Power. Now, the first level, uh, Cyborg of Justice attack reduces the CD of burst, impact, and dash by effects by 20%, so you can do it more often, right? Now, if you do the second one, he gains a 6% damage boost for 15 seconds every time he switches between the two forms. And then lastly, if you do the third one, he gains a 15% damage bonus for 15 seconds, guys, every time he switches. This is massive. So the first thing you want to aim for, guys, is definitely get respect for the Master as your first Thing that you want to run for okay now in terms of stats when you're building him you guys can see i only have level 7 stuff here even though i'm level 11 i'm currently farming for more things in terms of stats you want to definitely boost him with two different things you want to get yourself some over boost power if you can or overpower attacks or if you can uh these are all base stats by the way attack defense and all that that uh, composure damage etc that never changes okay just so you guys are aware that remains the same you do want to build him with composure reduction as well so the stats you're looking for are going to be attack and composure reduction for the most part everything else only other one that really matters from a stats perspective is going to be uh overpower attack right here like this one here okay so those are the things you want to look for attack overpower attack and composure reduction you don't care about defense and hp on him as much he'll this stuff here up here will take care of that for you okay so very important to try to build them that way now the second thing you want to do like see this is a good one here i've got hp though i mean this one here does give him overpower attack almost double so this is actually worth switching out for but i'll show you guys why it's you guys want to keep what we have here okay so here you want to go with a couple different things so first off here we go so first one you want to build on is this one here okay so Mind Reader. Mind Reader is going to be your best damage dealing boost in regards to crit. Okay, so this one, if you can get up to level three, you get yourself a 45% crit damage increase. You can see here I have level two, so I'm increasing his damage to 30%. And you guys can see that in the stats when you check your bonuses, right? When you see here, it shows 145. But well, the reason why is because we got that extra 30% bonus from that right there. Now, Victor Rush is also another really good one because you have Composure Break for him. Crit rate increases for 25 seconds whenever you break the opponent's state, which you can see is only 8%. But if you get it to level 2, you get yourself a boost of 20% in that. Now, we talked about the fact that he has high Composure uh, reduction. This is something you definitely want on him for sure. Respect the Master, we already referred to this. You want to max this out to level 3 so you can get that extra bonus damage. Now, this damage won't be reflected in your stats. This is a conditional damage increase, right? Anything that's considered conditional damage increase, you will not see until you actually meet the condition itself, all right? Now, a couple other things you want to do for him in regards to power here, guys. Uh, so we talked about that. You want to get Penetrating Eye. Penetrating Eye actually gives you guys a massive boost in your crit as well. So you want to give him, as, if you can, get to level 4, minimum level 3. This will actually push you close to roughly about 50% crit with the, uh, with the addition of uh, where is that? Where is that? Victory Rush. So if you guys can get that at break state, you'll be at 50%. Without that, you'll be close to 35%, which is still not bad, right? So Mind Reader, Penetrating Eye, 
Uh, respect for the master. And the last one you want to push for is, I think he has it here, is going to be uh, this one here. Okay? No, not this one. Sorry. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, I have this skill somewhere. Impassion. Okay? Impassion here. So this one here just gives him a flat, flat attack boost. So try to get this one to level... I mean, minimum level three if you can. If you can boost it to level five, you're, you're sitting really pretty. But it's really hard to get those, right? You're going to be doing a lot of reforging. So ideally, you want to go for the following three. So you want to go with um, Impassion, okay? You want to go with, uh, where is that? Penetrating Eye, okay? So boost that for him. You want to go with Mind Reader. And then lastly, you want to go with Respect for the Master. Those are the best traits you can possibly give Geno. So if you're, he's your main character... That's how you want to build them. Now, you can see with me, I've got those things spread around because I have different characters I'm building and I'm doing different things. But by far, those are going to be his best traits. Now, everybody else that you use, you can make him a supporting cast by giving them all of the bash items to make them to make everybody stronger against those opponents. Uh, but ideally, for him, if he's going to be your main, those are the best stats you want to use. All right, guys, I think that pretty much covers the way you want to build him. So keep that in mind when you're doing this. This is Payne. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.